Thompson, welcome to the BCU Wildcat Football Insider. We're inside the Legacy Walk in the brand new Larry Hanfield Athletic Training Center. And I'm joined by the head football coach Brian Jenkins. And we're talking about the big season opening win over Virginia Union, 66 to 7. Coach, a great day for all Wildcats. But this day of celebration actually started through the Legacy Walk uh, when you arrived to the stadium, the class of 2017, and the freshman college. They had those fans out there for us. And then, Coach, they, they celebrated with you, and they ran through the crowd, the band, the, the, the stands erupted. That enthusiasm, did you feel it, and did the team feel it? Absolutely. We felt it from when we entered the parking lot at the stadium. And, and to see that freshman class lined up to cheer us on in the Legacy Walk mm -hmm. was tremendous, along with the other fans. Mm -hmm. Then to have them run out you know, before us through the band was another ex exciting period. And just to hear all the excitement. You know, from the fans and everything, definitely gave us some energy going into the game. And boy, the Cats kept the energy going, 66 to 7. Uh, coach uh, against Virginia Union, a Division II team. Uh, coming back to Daytona Beach after having that big win on the road, mm -hmm. were you fearful of a letdown or a team losing focus? No, I wasn't fearful at all because this team is a very mature team, mm -hmm. which, which is impressive. And they impressed me throughout the week, the way they policed each other in practice. And so I knew that we would, we would play pretty well, you know. I just didn't want the guys to uh, get away from our norm and our discipline once we got up. And they didn't. They stayed the course. They completed the job, and I'm proud of them. Two defensive touchdowns on the day on interceptions, a complete special teams effort, and the three-headed monster showed up in Daytona Beach. We'll come back in just a few moments uh, with more action for you, but take a look now at the highlights from the big win in Daytona Beach. And he's going to scramble, keep it on his own. Has the first down and more across the 40. And Wilson, he's looking Carter's way. And it's complete at the 12, up to the 10. It is uh, Carter still on his feet. The pile still moving. Still moving. Break free. 
Touchdown Wildcats! Second, third, fourth, and fifth ever from Jatavius Carter. What a great job. Hand off, no, he keeps it, waters across the midfield, strike with a first down. Now takes a snap, takes the handoff, rolls to his left, wants to go far side, and it's complete Jumbo Gordon for a first down. Waters takes the snap from the shotgun, rolls right, still rolling, still looking, throws toward the end zone, touchdown! <laughs> John Davius Carter with his second touchdown of the afternoon. Hit and drop! The Waters now on second and ten. This time we'll hand off and across the 40, 45, plenty of room. This is White. Waters will hand it off. Drexler left side to the ten, the five, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown. Fourth down, the Wildcats go for it under pressure. Williams trying to throw to the end zone. Is it caught? Yes. Touchdown. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top-selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 Best List four years in a row and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Welcome to my place. Come on, get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, 13 institutions, all planned to win with dignity on and off the field. Sportsmanship, it's more than playing by the rules. It's playing smart. It's not just winning. It's taking each loss as a lesson. It's about respect for your opponent, for yourself. Because the game isn't just about the score. For our student athletes, the goal isn't just a line on the field. It goes beyond. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, sportsmanship is the way to play. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at bcusportshop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. Welcome back to the BCU Wildcat Football Insider. Lynn Thompson along with Brian Jenkins here. And, Coach, uh, let's talk a bit about Virginia Union because folks were asking, why did you play Virginia Union? Well, there's a lot of commonalities between the two universities. And, and a lot of times when you schedule a game, and you know this, uh, sometimes it's not just the football part of it. Right. But there are right. relationships between the universities, two church schools. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Church and Community Day. We had right. our preachers out there. We had... Uh, uh, ovarian cancer survivors who all celebrated as a part of the legacy walk. Right. But when it gets to the football field, Coach, you uh, this is the second time in the history of our program that we played Virginia Union. Mm -hmm. uh, you had to uh, search far and wide to find film and video right. on Virginia Union. Right, right. We did. We had to search far to find film on them, but we were able to do yeah. it. We uh, did a thorough research on them, and we knew we were going to go against a tough team. You know, and the score didn't show how tough they were, but if anybody was there, in the first half, they could see they stopped us a couple times mm -hmm. on third and short and fourth and short and, and uh, created some difficulty for us on our first drive where we felt we should have scored a touchdown, and we didn't. They held us, and we had to settle for a field goal. So uh, Virginia Union was a, definitely a worthy opponent, and just thank God we were able to execute down the stretch and come away with a victory. Coach, Wildcat football has been characterized uh, under your leadership by the number of takeaways. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was almost larceny out there because right. you stole two interceptions. Mm -hmm. uh, you blocked a punt. Right. You made them muff another punt, Coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a result, you score off of each one of those turnovers. And, mm -hmm. and now you look up, there's a 14-point, 17-point uh, lead, actually. Right. And the offense hasn't scored yet. Right, right, which is tremendous. Whenever we can create opportunities to score or mm -hmm. score points in, uh, in every phase of the game, it, it gives us 
you know, uh, a good chance to win the ball game. And, and that was tremendous to see our defense step up and uh, create some turnovers, which we're known for. And then to see our special teams come into play to put us in position to score some points as well. It started with special teams play, Coach, and uh, the block punt. Uh, as a result, uh, d their defense held us tough. Right. Uh, and Kago comes in, gets a field goal. He's perfect on the year, three out of three. He is. He is. He's doing a tremendous job. Um, you know, and that's a, that's a part of our game that we had to improve on yeah. in field goal. And Cagle has stepped in and just did a wonderful job for us and kept us on track thus far. Eric Williams, coach, the son of a former All-Pro and mm -hmm. a legend at Bethune Cook, Lee Williams, finally is healthy. Right, right. He's finally healthy and he's back to true form. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, he made a tremendous play on that interception on the screen. And what's so good about it is he did the exact same thing in practice earlier during the week. So uh, his trained behavior just took over and he was able to execute. A lot of fresh faces that you're seeing now. Daron Day from Sanford, Florida, the transfer from Miami. Mm -hmm. Two big sacks on the day. Right. Daron has come in and really uh, been good for us. I mean, his maturity shows, his work ethic shows, and just coming in and becoming a part of our family and executing on the field has been really good for you know him joining our program. Mm -hmm. Nick Addison takes one to the house, Coach. Mm -hmm. He picked it off. Uh, held it in one hand and followed the blockers and dove into the end zone. He did exactly what he's coached to do. Nick has a tremendous coach in Coach Sims, and they drilled that type of stuff every practice, and to see him carried over to the football field was tremendous. Another great interception by a new transfer from Mississippi, Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. This kid comes in, great special teams play, and another great defensive back play. Right, he's, he's a tremendous kid, great kid, and he was just humble and, and, and grateful to be a part of our team, and I tell you, he got a chance to play a lot for us, mm -hmm. and he, he took advantage of it. He was in the right place, and he made the play. Uh, when it came to him. Offensively, Coach, uh, you were able to get a lot of things done. Uh, Quentin Williams makes his season debut, and Coach, he went up top to Eddie Poole, and right. it looked like practice. Right, and that's what we do in practice. I tell those guys, you know, they got to practice how they want to play, mm -hmm. and Quentin had a great week of practice, and we had no problem putting him on the field to lead our football team, and as you, as you see, the end result was a big play to Eddie Poole. You're absolutely right. Eddie came up big, Coach, uh, but number 15, Anuba Hawkett, another transfer from the University of Miami. Let's talk about mm -hmm. this guy. John Tavis Carter, I mean, just a very humble young man, a young man that has a check and chance at, at uh, playing, you know, his career out. And I tell you what, he came in, he did what he was coached to do, and uh, he executed well, and he made the plays, you know, when they came to him. And that's all you can ask for. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's all you can ask for is a great effort by all of the players. We'll come back in just a few moments, and we'll take a look at one of the players, our very first player profile for you, Jomo Gordon. All of that and a whole lot more as The Insider continues. Welcome to my place. Get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95 Daytona Beach. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top-selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 Best List four years in a row and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach. Or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at BCUSportsShop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. The Mideastern Athletic Conference, 13 institutions, all bringing the dreams of our student athletes to light. A premier NCAA Division I conference. We deliver excellence across the spectrum. Uniting the diverse pursuits and talents of all our student athletes with the power of respect. For together, we are the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference, achieving the dream.
Welcome back to the BCU Wildcat Football Insider. Lynn Thompson along with Brian Jenkins here. In case you want to find out more information about the Wildcat football program, why don't you subscribe to the Cat Eye Network? Hey, you can do more than just be a member and sit there and watch all the time. You can get actively involved by participating with our Instagram and Twitter, all of the social media that we utilize to keep you up to date, minute to minute, almost second to second, what's going on inside and around the program. Coach, inside the program, you got a cast of tremendous young men who come from all over the country, who you formed into a Wildcat family. You went to Bayside High School in Melbourne, Florida, right. and you saw a wide receiver that you fell in love with. Right. And this kid, Jomo Gordon, has done a great job for us and for you here. Yes, he's done a tremendous job for us. I mean, he's a 3.035 student, which is really, really good. He's a good citizen, you know, for the community. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he, he's a great teammate to have. And, mm -hmm. and to have the opportunity to coach a young man like this is tremendous. We, went a ch we had a chance to go see Jomo back where he lives in Melbourne. Play a profile, Jomo Gordon. Jomo Gordon, wide receiver, number 17, Bethlehem Cook University. I'm originally from Jamaica. I was born in St. Andrews, Jamaica. Um, I grew up in my first, the first part of my life in St. Saint Elizabeth, that's where my grandma lived. They did not want to leave Jamaica <laughs> at all when we moved to Palm Bay. Um, he did not like it at all. But after coming to Palm Bay, he, he kind of settled down and was doing very good for himself. Other than that, I mean, his problem probably was mainly the food because we weren't familiar with the food, so it took some adjusting, but I mean, he got over it. We all got over it, so. I went to Bayside High School. A bear. 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 Bayside Bears. Uh-huh. Got a ring to it, don't it? This is my school. No teal. That's my colors, teal and black. And white, a little bit of white. But yeah, this is my football field, you know. Where the legend starts. Legend of Jomo Gordon. This is where it all began. I went to Bayside, ninth grade year. Uh, played football. First year playing football was my ninth grade year. I wasn't interested in, in it before. Yeah, when Jomo was a freshman and sophomore, his work ethic alone, I knew he was gonna play college football. Yeah, I went into ninth grade you know, not really, I always knew the difference, but in Jamaica we call football American football. So, going into ninth grade, everybody, all my friends saying, oh, they're gonna play football, they're gonna play football. So the whole time, I'm, I'm going through summer workouts, you know what I'm saying, summer workouts, I'm not really knowing that it's American football. So, I'm thinking we're gonna go play soccer. So, you know what I'm saying, the first day out, they brought out this ball, and I see, you know, we were over ball, and I was like, what? So I was kind of lost, because I thought we were playing soccer. So like, I thought about switching and just stopped playing, but then my coach was like, I might as well do it since I already started. So that's really how I started playing the game. Yeah, he, he was very dedicated to whatever he was doing from day one, was always into sports. And in, I guess in high school, he decided that First it was tracks. I ran track at my school. Then he got into basketball. Then long jump, triple jump. Then into foot, well it was basketball and football. High jump, four by one, everything. I went to state in four of those events. And I hold a record for all those events at my school still. Football, tracks, then it's solely football. So I guess this is where he's at today. You know, number one thing, always on my mind to be proud of me. So I try to do it, you know, the best I can to make her feel proud. And then track and field, he's got the school record for the triple jump, school record for the long jump, state qualifier in junior and senior year in the triple jump, state qualifier senior year in the long jump. Uh, all them accomplishments, uh, it's something I like to do. You know, when I get it, I feel like you know, that I'm being noticed. 
So I got a couple. I don't got none here yet, but it's coming. You know, that's, that, that's, that's really my support system. You know, I, I listen to my family a lot. I talk to them when I can. Uh, they pretty much travel to every game. Even if I tell them not to, they still go. I like, I like that they travel to see me play, you know, because that's really, it's really an exciting moment for them to see me play. They always love coming out and watch me play, no matter where it is. Like, they was going to drive to Tennessee the other day. I was like, what? Like, nah, it's too far. They, even when I don't get the ball a lot, they, keep, they still keep me motivated, you know, just to keep playing, just keep on going. So they're very supportive. Uh, uh, he's got a great family supporting him at home. And uh, myself, my, my wife, and all the coaching staff, we're real happy. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 best list four years in a row and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at richieautos.com. Welcome to my place. Get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. The Mideastern Athletic Conference. 13 institutions. All planned to win with dignity. On and off the field. Sportsmanship. It's more than playing by the rules. It's playing smart. It's not just winning. It's taking each loss as a lesson. It's about respect for your opponent, for yourself. Because the game isn't just about the score. For our student athletes, the goal isn't just a line on the field. It goes beyond. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Sportsmanship is the way to play. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at bcusportshop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. Thanks for staying here with us for the show today. I'm Lynn Thompson along with Brian Jenkins. This is the Wildcat Football Insider from Bethune-Cookman University. Uh, for those of you who've been with us for the whole show, Jumbo Gordon is a kid from Palm, uh, well, we call it the Palm Bay area, but Melbourne Bayside High School. And Coach, as you mentioned, before uh, we went to break, he's a great kid and a real good football player. Absolutely, and I tell you what, he's, he's steadily improving, you know, as we go, and he's becoming a guy that we know we can go to to make plays for us. You're right, and this week, Coach, uh, there are two guys that, uh, that you selected as the players of the game, uh, and those guys really, uh, one of them made his debut. The other one, uh, Coach, uh, you know, he's, he's done a lot of stuff for a lot of, a lot of games, but let's mm -hmm. talk offensively about the right. new kid. John Tavis Carter. Kid from uh, originally out of Georgia, mm -hmm. you know, transferred in from Miami. And I tell you, he's came in and learned that system in a short time. And he's been able to just fall right in line and, and uh, play at the level that we need to win at. And uh, Saturday, he showed that he can make plays. And uh, it was tremendous to see him do what he did for us on Saturday. Coach, he caught a pass, and everybody thought he was tackling. Right. Everybody on the other team hit him. Right. And all of a sudden, he right. scores. Well, definitely. That just shows you the drive and the determination that the young man plays with that – you know, when he caught the pass, he fought and gave everything he had to get mm -hmm. to the end zone. And if you know, as soon as he did it, you know, he got up, uh, celebrated with all of his teammates, yeah. and, uh, and just came onto the bench and was ready for the next series. And that shows you that he's a team guy and not a me guy. You're right. And uh, later on in the ball game, uh, Brock Waters rolls out, hits him on a perfect pass in the mm -hmm. end zone. Definitely. And, he, and uh, he, on that play, it was just a tremendous effort by him. I mean, uh, he ran a good corner route and fought through the DB who mm -hmm. had him covered. And uh, when the ball was in the air, he just attacked it and made the play. He's a big physical receiver. He is. He's Coach, a very physical I, receiver. Coach, I venture to say that mm -hmm. could a Brian Jenkins play for Coach Brian Jenkins? Because 
you don't look like the rest of the receivers who you right. coach. Absolutely, absolutely. No brainer. And I would be a player, too. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them are about 6'4". Right, right, okay. right. All right, just wanted to make sure your heart would have got you. My heart would have got me through And the that. speed, of course. That's right. Defensively, Coach, let's mm -hmm. talk about your defensive player of the game. Mm -hmm. Well, our defensive player of the game is Nick Addison. And, and, uh, and Nick is a very steady player for us. He's, he's our, our top guy back there in the secondary. Mm -hmm. and, and he's a leader for us. I tell you what, he executes. Tremendous back there, knows all the calls, and uh, he was in the right place, and he did everything that we, we coached him to do back there. He made the play. Uh, it was high and tight with the ball down the sideline and got it to the end zone. And a big touchdown for us, Coach. Uh, this kid continues to play well. You said it from day one that Nick Addison was a next-level type guy. He is. He is a next-level type guy, and I tell you what, he, he understands he may have that opportunity, and that's why he's given everything he has at this level in order to earn the opportunity to play at the next level. Okay, well, Coach, uh, let's go around the league right now and see what a lot of folks did. Uh, for the second consecutive week, our conference has a signature out-of-conference win. Mm -hmm. North Carolina A&T goes up to right. Boone, North Carolina, and upsets uh, Appalachian State. Tremendous job, tremendous job. I tell you what, that team is getting better every year. And, and uh, you know, we took a loss from them a couple years ago, and that let us know that they were for real. And uh, we were able to recover last season and, and beat them. But I tell you what, it does not uh, shock me in what Coach Broadway is doing with that program. Okay. Uh, Coach uh, Howard goes out of conference and beats Morehouse. Mm -hmm. FAMU takes a tough one on the road against what you said was a very, very, very good football team in Tennessee State. Right, definitely. Tennessee State is a good football team. And, uh, you know, FAM played the best that they could. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and as, you, as you look at the stats, you see they had a couple special team plays in there that, that led Tennessee State to the victory. But uh, Tennessee State is a good football team, and, and FAM shouldn't put their head down. They're going to be right back in the mix when, when the time comes. Uh, North Carolina Central wins in double overtime over St. Augustine from the CIAA. Mm -hmm. Uh, North South Carolina State coach uh, goes up to Clemson, mm -hmm. plays Clemson tough for about two quarters, and then the depth kicks in. Hampton loses uh, to William & Mary. Mm -hmm. Morgan loses to Robert Morris, coach. Dell State loses to Delaware. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the conference is stepping up in terms of scheduling, mm -hmm. and uh, we're getting one or two signature wins now. Absolutely. The conference definitely stepping up to, uh, to schedule, you know, bigger teams and, and teams from other conferences. And some of them we're winning and some of them we're losing. But okay. definitely we're, we're elevating our game to give us the opportunity to get – uh, get seen throughout the country. Well, Coach, we're going to have a chance this weekend. We go down to FIU to mm -hmm. play a, a FB, FBS team. And, Coach, you feel we've got a chance to win this one. Definitely. We, we expect to win, and we're going to prepare to win just like we do every other game. Okay. Well, it's going to be the Wildcats and the Panthers at 6 p.m. from Miami, Florida. If you can't join us down there, make sure you log in to Cat Eye Network and catch it. Catch the action with Joe LaBarber and Larry Wesley. For Brian Jenkins and the Wildcats, I'm Lynn Thompson. We'll see you in Miami.